Hi, I'm Holly here with another Lyme Bite. The question is, how accurate are the blood tests currently used to diagnose Lyme disease? Serological tests are lab tests that measure the level of antibodies in blood. And this can indicate whether a person has been infected with a specific disease-causing microbe. Serology is just an indirect way to measure exposure since antibodies may remain in the blood long after the microbe is gone. For Lyme disease, current medical guidelines recommend that physicians use a two-tier serological testing approach when they suspect that a patient might have Lyme disease. Here's the algorithm from the CDC that shows how the two-tier system works. The first tier is a serological test called an ELISA. If this test is negative, then a person is diagnosed as not having Lyme disease. If the ELISA is positive, then a second serological test is done and if that test is positive, a person is diagnosed as having Lyme disease. Complicated, right? But there's more. The second tier test, called the Western blot, requires a certain pattern of several specific antibodies to be called positive. Even worse, the pattern of antibodies considered positive varies among the clinical labs that perform these tests. Since a diagnosis of Lyme disease really hinges on the first tier test, let's just look at that one more closely. How well various types of lab tests correlated with the diagnosis of Lyme disease was evaluated in this journal article published in 2005. The results show that in the ELISA test correlated with the diagnosis of Lyme disease only 50% of the time. That's about as accurate as a coin toss. For people with a positive ELISA, the second tier test, the Western blot, was only 69% accurate. But remember, the first tier test has to be positive before the second tier test is even done, and the first tier test is wrong half the time. As the title of this article published in the New England Journal of Medicine states, a person can be seronegative and yet still have Lyme disease. Because the serological tests for Lyme disease are so inaccurate, some states, like Virginia, have passed a law requiring physicians to inform their patients that a negative blood test doesn't mean you don't have Lyme disease. So, to answer the question, how accurate are the blood tests for Lyme disease, the answer is not very accurate at all. Not much better than a coin toss. But, shouldn't the real question be, why are such inaccurate blood tests still being used at all? That's a question I don't have an answer to.